Hi, it's Steve Lykin with Rockwell Automation, and today we will take five to learn about the world's only light curtain that provides machinery safety over Ethernet. This is a sequel to my previous video that used the same physical structure, but instead of providing OSSDs from the receiver to a safety relay, the plug-in module in this receiver has three rotary dial switches, which set the IP address for direct SIP safety communication to guard logics. Our system today is finished with guard logics using a configurable redundant output instruction to the armor block guard IO, which is controlling two safety control relays, potentially in the safe torque off string of a drive, or these could be very large safety contactors directly to motors, and finally finished with typical on-machine indication using the 856T stack light. In the previous video for the standard light curtains, we configured muting and blanking by choosing the appropriate plug-in modules and setting dip switches. With SIP safety, however, we can select these configurations dynamically from the control system. In this first configuration, you can see that we have simple on-off, as well as muting, which is detected by these two photo eyes and indicated by the yellow stack light. With a simple change in the control system, which I'm simulating via a selection on the panel view, we can quickly reconfigure the light curtain to have floating blanking to ignore a couple beams as could be needed by a thin product coming out of an extruder or an oven. As the production needs change and we change to a larger product, you can see how quickly and easily we can change the configuration again, and again simulating a new configuration on the panel view, to reconfigure, to ignore a few more beams, and thus ignore that larger product. And in this fourth scenario, which I'm going to simulate again with a selection on the panel view, we are dynamically changing the light curtain again to accommodate a different machine scenario, such as a physical conveyor that is always interrupting part of the light curtain. So light curtain is active above it, but ignoring those beams. And coincidentally, that fixed blanking was also taught via the SIP safety connection. Now let's look into the configuration of the 450L SIP safety light curtains. In the introduction, I commented that all configuration is done via Studio 5000 and an add-on profile, thus requiring no additional software, nor physical modules or dip switches. As you can see, we've added the 450L-ENETR into the I.O. tree, and we get this add-on profile. Most of this add-on profile is quite standard and might look familiar to you, except for this light curtain tab. On this first page, there's a little bit of status, and as I stick my fingers in here, you can see uh, the beams that are interrupted. And as we go into the configuration, we will see this is where we defined the two sensor muting, the two photo eyes that you saw, as well as where those photo eyes were wired. And then, if you remember configuration, the first configuration, configuration zero, had no blanking. It was just on and off. The second configuration is where we had the thin product coming out of the extruder or the oven. In this case, we were ignoring two beams. The third configuration was a larger product coming out of that extruder, and we were ignoring a larger product size. And then the fourth configuration was where we had fixed blanking. This was the conveyor sticking into the light curtain. And we taught, using this teach in blanking right here, we taught the light curtain to ignore beams one through five, which were interrupted by that cardboard box. Thank you for the time to take five to learn about our 450L light curtains with SIP safety over Ethernet IP. To learn more, please go to rockwellautomation.com and search light curtains. And as always, your Rockwell Automation salesperson and distributor will be happy to support you.